Okay, so my question was, uh, why is it negative 16 newtons? And we got some pretty good answers, okay? Yeah, that's a force exerted by the roof, okay? And... Slow down, maybe. Why is that negative? Well, because we chose downward as positive, and the roof has to exert a force upward to stop that rain, right? Okay. So there's an upward 16 newton average force. So this example is a good one to really understand. First of all, for the application of the impulse momentum theorem, okay? And for the peripheral comments I made regarding potential and kinetic energy that aren't necessarily, that aren't at all relevant to the question, but are relevant to the broader situation, right? Okay. Um, so do you think this roof is capable of exerting an upward 16 Newton force without stressing it? Well, it's doing it right now. Well, yeah, I mean, the weight of the water in the roof after a few seconds is going to be, you know, way in excess of that, right? I mean, you basically, two liters is two kilograms is about 20 newtons, right? In a second, okay? So the upward force turns out to be on the same order as the weight of the water that falls on the roof during the first second, right? Now, after it takes a while for water to start draining, the roof has to get covered enough that the water will flow, right? It takes a few minutes for that to happen. So you get quite a bit of weight of water in the roof, but still, it's a big roof and it's plenty strong enough. It's designed probably to hold a big snow load, which we can't get here. Uh, you know, two, three hundred pounds per square foot, okay? And that's, of course, designed with some overkill. But you don't want the roof falling on you, so you design it strong, right? Typical for a house, well, a floor in a house, I think, I think be around 100 pounds per square foot. Uh, roof, probably 30 to 50. I don't remember what the code. I haven't looked at a code book in years. So. When I built my roof, I took a look, it was plenty strong. Okay, so anyhow, there it is.